Hey guys, Lego Man 7777 doing my final review for right now. This is the last one, the biggest, the Republic gunship. Alright, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into this. Alright. Ages 9 to 14, 75021, Republic gunship, 1175 pieces. And you probably already guessed it, it is $119.99, so $120, bucks. but everyone already knew that. Um, poster inside, and here's our minifigures. But you can already see the poster, because it's on the bottom. But let's, uh, let's look at the back of this box real quick. All right, so we got some scenes going on, um, all kinds of features, all that fun jazz, all of that fun stuff, all that fun stuff that we can do with this set. What? Oh, okay. I was just looking at something, something I didn't notice earlier, but that's all right. Um, anyway, real quick. This box is the same size as Jonas Selbarch and the Jedi Cruiser, but it is um, much thicker because there is a lot more in this box. So, same size box, but uh, it was filled to the rim, pretty much. So, here we go. Booklet number one. This booklet... It has cardboard, and there's nine bags with this gunship, so it's the biggest set by far. And uh, at the end of book one, we are putting on some stickers. Putting stickers everywhere. And uh, I suppose I'll show it, because I haven't really showed it yet. But um, here's our minifigure checklist. All that fun jazz. Uh, like I said, these booklets come with cardboard, so they will always be, you know, straight and not all bent up. Which is nice. Very nice. And it's some advertisements. And book two is features. And a whole bunch of pieces. Um, don't really have a good picture of the digital model, but this is as good as we're going to get. This book has 75 pages, and the last in this other book, that's quite a few as well. Let's see, hang on. It's got over 75 too, so it's a, it's a long build. It is very long, but it's fun. I enjoyed it. I mean, I built the other gunship like eight, seven times because I dropped it so many times. But, well, everyone knows that fault. You know, the only way to pick it up was uh, right here, and then it would separate and fall and look like a real crash because it was a real crash. Boom! Anyway, let's get on to our uh, minifigures. So, just like the homing spider droid, we get two super battle droids. Regular, standard, normal arms. Nothing, nothing special. Nothing special about them. But they're there. And you get two of them. Uh, let's go to this guy. Next up is our very own clone pilot. Which, uh, he looks very cool. He's got all the right details. Uh, I know he doesn't actually have a, film, a fin in the movie, but I like the fin. Even they would have a remolded for not having that. And he comes with a small little pistol. Now, just like all clones, he's got your standard clone face. And he's got some back printing like all clones do. All right. Next up is probably my favorite guy in the whole set, because he's just so cool. Here he is, 
the clone captain. So awesome. I just like him because he's red. Uh, as you can see, he's got four red dots signifying he's a captain. He's got red arms and his helmet's got red and silver, which is always improved. He's got the new big blaster. Uh, he's got the same face as the others. Again, you know, standard. And he's got regular back printing. But he is probably my favorite character in the set. Just because, I don't know, he's cool. We see him in the film a couple times. No! I dropped him. He survived. Alright, next up, Essential character, uh, Padme Amidala. She's brand new. You can see she's got some pink lipstick on. Um, pretty much a new figure altogether. It's even got the little mole that she has on her face, which is interesting. Uh, you know, it's got her shirt. Um, she's got, I don't know if it's a new hair piece, but different hair piece. I've, I don't have any like this. And you can see where the uh, Nexu, or the big bad kitty, cut her up. So it's good. It's good to see. They included that. She just comes with a regular gun. Next up is, uh, I was going to say good old Anakin, but you guys know I don't like Anakin. But he's essential in the set. And, you know, he looks good. Green lightsaber, just like he has, even though his is blue, this is his temporary lightsaber he gets in the arena. Um, you know, you can see his braid, and his, his face is all calm. Um, he actually has a second face while I'm showing you, well, you can't even see it. Okay. Here's his second face, his angry face, along with his back printing. I'm pretty sure Padme has a second phase too that I forgot about. Yeah. She has a normal phase. And then she's got, uh, I don't really know why she has this phase, but she's got super happy face, which is, well, all right, I guess. You need to be super happy while we're fighting. And uh, last, but certainly not least, uh, episode 2, Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's got some leg printing. Not much, but it's there. Uh, he's got his standard torso. He's got new hair piece. I don't know if it's new, but it's new for me. And uh, he's got his face. and He's got a face. Yes, he does. His blue lightsaber. Uh, I'm sure he has an angry face. Yeah, he's got an angry face. Here's his angry face when he's yelling at Anakin, No, you can't go save Padme, even though you love her, and that's against the rules, and I wish you would've fallen off the gunship anyway. Whoops, I didn't say that. But if you would've fallen out, everything would've been fine, and they would've won the Battle of Genosis, because, you know. Anyway. Get a good chunk of minifigures, seven and all. And, uh, again, you get the good old brick separator, which I actually had to use a couple times on the set, because I made a slight boo-boo. Anyway, let's uh, move these instruction booklets so you can see more of the poster. But that didn't really help anything anyway. I'll show you the poster after I'm done with all the reviewing and junk. Alright, to start off, I'm going to zoom in just so we can see some stuff. To start off, right here, we got a brand new handle, which is fantastic. So no, you can't drop your gunship. I mean, you can, you can still drop it, I mean, if you let go of the handle. But it's sturdy, and it holds the whole gunship. Very nice. Much improved. Now we have the new improved uh, cockpit section, which looks much better than the last one. It's all dark red. There's no bright red in this set anymore, which is great. Um, always appreciated. Color scheme is right. Uh, there is some stickers. And now we'll see if I can get it. I did. This is just a sticker for the pilots to see. I just thought it was a cool looking sticker. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few stickers in this set, but it's alright. It's justified. 
So the cockpits are new, they're much improved, uh, they look better, in my opinion. You know, still got this, and we still got the, you know, the refrigerators, they're actually containers, but we still got them, four and all, on each side of the gunship to store stuff, if you need to. But you, you shouldn't really need to. I mean, you can't open this anymore, because this is where the handle is, and normally they put a thing here, but that's alright, whatever, that's where the handle goes. Duh. Um, so let's zoom out a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. So you can open this up. And if you pull this out, here we have a little cart that has two green and two blue missiles in it. So extras. Say you run out of the eight that they already give you, you get four more. Little overboard on the missiles, but that's all right. It's it's all good. They ran out in the movie, so I understand why they did it. Um, lift it up. Here's the new bubble guns. They're not new, but they're a different design, and their their color is different. Here's the front of the gunship, all new and junk, all differently made. Uh, here's some of the stickers, as you can see right here, here. Uh, these these bubble cannons, they open up so you can put a guy in there, and uh, they close, and they, they, they're fully functional, like they spin and rotate and all kinds of fun stuff, and they fold in. I wanted to fold it in so I could show you um, that sticker right there, and the bubbles are all printed, so that's that's cool. So, yeah. There's that. And here's just a little compartment. The last one had the back to tank there, but this one has a little compartment where you can put some dudes if you want. I'm going to put this down now. Uh, inside, past the bubble, there is a small container, little crate. And uh, inside of the little crate, just like in the Defender Cruiser, you get a Jedi holocron. In case you need to smuggle that on a gunship, why not? Adds for a little bit of excitement. You can add some stuff to the story of Episode 2 if you really want to, which is always appreciated. So there's all that. Uh, you can open up these bubbles and sit people in there, which is always appreciated. And uh, we'll take this piece off, because this piece has a sticker that I want to show you. So here's the sticker. It's a cool looking sticker, isn't it? That's for the other bubble. That is for the these two bubbles, so you get two stickers like that. Uh, and then there's a sticker here, of course, that you can clearly see. Um, the wings don't move like in the last one, so that, I don't know if you consider that a problem, whatever, it all depends on what you want to do. Uh, so, next feature is there's, I don't know why I'm not focused, right here, if you pull these back, you can open up, and this gunship actually has room for people. Look at that, you can sit a whole bunch of people, and you can switch up your bubbles, your bubbles in there. Oh, that was too far. Store your bubbles. So now you're just now you're just cruising. You know, with the doors open and everything, and the doors just uh, they just close real easy. They open. Woo! See what I mean about dropping things? I'm bad. Anyway, no, but you just open the doors like that. I wasn't really holding it very well. On the back here, we got our new, I like this design, this is cool, this back gun, it's really fucking sweet, in my opinion. It's not a bubble anymore, it's a different design. Uh, yes, these are your flick missiles, as everyone knows, and you know, you shoot them, and yada yada yada. All that fun jazz that you always do. 
I actually had the colors different on the box than what they say. I lost the missile. Where did that go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I see it. Thanks for telling me, guys. You could have told me where the missile went. I'm kidding. Anyway, uh, you get six blue or six green missiles and two blue missiles, plus the two green and two blue in the side. So you get 12 missiles in this set. There's a whole bunch. You can just shoot for hours, pretty much. Um, as you can see, the back of the engines is redesigned, and I think it looks much more accurate, and I, I like it better this way. It looks cool. I like the black added onto the engines. Um, you can open up here, and it says in the box that you can put a gun in here, but I, would, I wouldn't put a gun in there. I'd put other junk in there. Just for the lulls, I put random stuff in there. It's really hot where I am right now. That's probably why I dropped the gunship. Uh, but here's a quick look at this side. Um, show you a close up of opening this. And there's our missiles chilling in there. And I'll show you a close up of opening this. Yada yada yada. And our bubbles, you know, you could, if you want to shoot up, you can shoot up. I wouldn't want to sit like that for too long. Personally, I wouldn't want to anyway. Um, I like those little red pieces that you can't see. I'll try and show you. Those little red pieces underneath the missile. I like those. Those happen to be my favorite Lego piece. I don't, don't ask me why, they just are. And I'll show you some of the wing detail. This has just all kinds of detail. And I like this. This is probably my favorite improvement. This is slope. It looks more... Uh, it looks more like a slope and not a curve. I just like that. Not that the old one was bad in any way. The old one was fantastic too. But, you know, gotta make improvements. Gotta be making improvements. All right, so I'm gonna put it like this. So you can see what I'm doing. Now you can pull this hatch just like in the last one. And this one stores a speeder bike too, but this speeder bike won't fall out because it's got little things. So here's our speeder bike. It's uh, kind of like the one in the uh, Droid Escape set. I believe it is. Sorry, wasn't focused. Yep, and you just ride on that all day. Not even shown on the box on the front side. Not even that important. Huh, that's interesting. No, but um, it uses some upside down building techniques and stuff to make it slide nicely. You can't see it sliding. You still can't see it sliding. Shh, whatever. But it's got some pieces right here. I'll try and show you. It's gonna be difficult. This could be difficult, but those little gray things, it just holds them right. It holds the bike right in place. And you just fold up the bike, and there you go. Uh, as you can see, we got one more of those. Oh, you can't really see it. Oh, there it is. You can see the little red flat stud that we have chilling in there. That's my favorite. I broke something. Quick, tell me what I broke. What did I break real quick? Oh, I broke it. Whoop! Ugh. Oops. Problems. Hit the camera. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. I was so excited. I'm so excited about this gunship. Um, I don't know if I said it, but this is my favorite set in the wave. My favorite ship of all time is the Republic gunship. So. You know, it's only fitting that I'd have to get this one. Even if I didn't have money for any of the other sets, I'd make sure I had money for this set. Because it's just fantastic. So, I know you guys are all waiting for it. So let's get on with the comparison of the old gunship to the new gunship. Let's do it. All right, there's our new one. Coming out of the depths of nowhere.
the old one that you can't even see. So I'll move this one over a little bit. Yeah, you can still see them off a bit. And then I'll move this one over to here. Alright. Old one compared to the new one. Alright, so unlike all of the other sets that have been remade, well, I take that back. The only one, whatever. You'll, you'll understand what I'm saying when I say it, actually. This gunship is the same size as the last gunship, so you don't have to worry about it being smaller uh, or anything. It does have more pieces, too, by the way. It has about 100 more pieces. The build is completely different from the last one. I mean, there's some similarities. Of course, there has to be it's the same ship. But, I mean, the whole metal is different. You know, the inclusion of the handle, the engines, the wings are built differently even. Um, the front is built differently. Uh, the cockpit is built differently even. So, everything is all different in this. But anyway, uh, same width, same length, same height, everything. Both gunships are exactly the same size. So bravo for LEGO for making the sets the same size, which is fantastic. Now let's do some comparisons. Uh, like I said, the cockpits are different, so you can see that uh, this one is... Well, everyone, pretty much everyone in the world has this set. But the, that one is all more circular and round. Pretty much everywhere is improved on the new gunship that's been changed. The guns are a little bit shorter. I don't know if that's more accurate or not. I, I don't really care either. Uh, the back gun is not a bubble anymore, like I said. Um, this gunship is actually a different type of gunship, so it doesn't have bubbles, where the new one does have bubbles, like in the episode 2. Um, this panel is smaller on that one. The front is a little is built differently. So we don't have to worry about, um, you, you can't put the mini command station in the new one. But you don't want that anyway. You need some more missiles. Um, but uh, yeah, like the fridges on the sides are still the same. Um, the back doors are pretty similar. I don't, if not the same, they're pretty similar. Uh, there's a small difference, there's, there's like two extra pieces on the new door than on the old door. So, a little bit of a difference. Just a bit. Um, like I said, there is no bright red anymore. It's all dark red. Um, and the wings, you can even see from here, are built differently. They're just different. And uh, the engines are different completely. Uh, the front of the engine, like, some of the engine is the same, and then some of it is not the same. Um, the old gunship has a wider engine placement than the new one. The new one's wings are closer together. So, and like, on the old gunship, you can see the bright red holding the wings up, where the new one is white so it doesn't look as noticeable to keep the wings up like that, which is nice. Uh, the missiles are more, because the engines are closer together on the new one, the missiles are more upright. They're not as far, like, open as this one. Like, see how, see how far these missiles are? That's ridiculous. Um, and not that I'm bashing the old gunship or anything, because I still love the old gunship. I mean, that was my favorite set for the longest time. Because I missed the first gunship, but this this new one blows it out of the water, kind of. If you don't have the old gunship, go get the new one, like, right now. Like, right now. I don't care if you have the money or not. Go get it right now. It's so good. I'm kidding. You can do whatever you want with your money. If you have the old gunship and you don't want the new one, then don't get it. However, it is better. I'm just letting you guys know. It's much improved. Much improved. Um, what else can I say? The speeder bikes are different. You know, the old gunship has like a just a a longer speeder, where the new one has like a droid escape looking speeder in it, which is all right. I mean, I don't really care. The speeders probably not gonna use them anyway, but you get them. 
I mean, it has the capability to hold it. But this one, you can still store people while having the bike in there, which is what I, one of the things I like better about the new one, like over all the other improvements beside the handle, which is the best part, is um, you, know, you can put the bike in there and then still have a whole ton of people chilling in the gunship. Whereas the old one, you're going to have a couple people in there, but the bike pretty much shakes up the whole middle. The whole middle. Do I even have the bike in there? No, I don't have the bike in there. Um, and with the back to tank, you know, the back to tank takes up that whole spot in the old one. Where that one, with the new one, you can store more people on that spot too if you want. You see on the box, Padme's chilling in that area. So you can store people there. This new one is all kinds ready to hold people. And you still don't get as many clone troopers as you should. You should get you should get two pilots and four clone troopers, but you don't. I mean, you didn't get it in the last one either. You got Cody and one clone trooper. But, you know, if you have your own, if you get the battle pack, you can, you can stock up your gunship and make it look cool. And all that fun jazz. So enough complaining. As much as I do like the old one, no matter what anyone says, the new one is better. But the old one is still good. There's nothing wrong with it. And the old one has a humongous box. Just throwing that out there. The box is the... It's bigger than any... It's the biggest $120 box there is. So far. It's bigger than the X-Wing box. And the X-Wing was like 200 bucks. What do you know? Anyway, real quick before I wrap it up... Because we are uh, wrapping it up. There's not much more I can talk about. Showed you all the junk. I, mean, I do want to show you the poster real quick, which is important. So I will uh, move all of the stuff and lift up the camera so we can see this, this nice old poster we got. So here's the poster. Got three gunships shooting missiles and being shot at and all kinds of stuff. And you can see in the background there is a homing spider droid with a whole bunch of droids coming. And then on the other side you can see three tank droids coming in, which is kind of inaccurate, but oh, oh well. And you can see Obi-Wan and Anakin and Padme fighting. And the, the one thing I do want to point out though is they made a little bit of a boo-boo on this poster. This clone trooper right here is the old Clone War style. Now I don't know if they intended it to do that or that's just a, a little bit of a mess up, but that is the same as the old Clone Trooper. So, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up because my camera seems like it's dying. Whoop, 